Hi guys, I'm Andrea and welcome to my first video of 2019. That sounds really weird to say and I've been putting this video off because I've been recovering from a sickness. I've literally been sick since December 31st, 2018. So that's fun. Anyways, this is my top six books that I read in 2018. I read a lot of great books this last year and I don't know what's happening out there. And besides anything, 2018 was the first year I was able to read consistently every single month. Um, in a really long time, so I applaud myself just for that, and um, let's get to it. So the first great book that I read uh, was World War Z by Max Brooks. This is the first time I read World War Z. I hadn't actually touched the book before. I had watched the movie, but I didn't really find anything that interesting in it. But then I checked out the ebook. So what do I like about this book? I think this is such an immersive and realistic storytelling for a post-apocalyptic dystopian book, especially one concerning zombies. I thought it was such an interesting way to tell a story about a subject that's kind of been beaten to death, haha -ha puns, but it, yeah, it was true. It mimics a lot of great non-fiction storytelling in like Hiroshima by John Hersey. I thought it was super similar in the way that they weaved um, their stories like that. And like many other great sci-fis and great books and great horrors, I love how this book has like this air of ambiguity and murkiness and it leaves the reader to fill in all the little details. So the next series I want to talk about is Thunderhead slash Scythe by Neil Schusterman. I think this is just a wickedly delicious series. Um, it's part satire, part just fun YA, which I am always down for, so I super, super love this series. It's one of my favorite series of all time. Yeah, of all time. I think it provides such an accurate look of politics and like the corruption of the American system through symbolism and I just think that is so expertly written because of that. The next book I want to talk about is a memoir and that is When They Call You a Terrorist by Patrice Kahn Coolers. So I'm just going to take this from my Goodreads review. Um, I think this book is written with love, effort, and dedication to those that she has fought for and continues to fight for. It talks about the school to prison pipeline and it talks about mental health and her writing is just so captivating and it's a really short read but it has such an impactful punch it just lasts in your heart forever so i really appreciate reading that book and i think i came out um a little bit more educated on the subject matter and yeah next book i want to talk about is the poet x by elizabeth acevedo um a lot of people love this book so i'm not going to go too much into detail about it but I love that it's written in verse, I love that it's so colorful and vibrant, and I love that the main character is an Afro-Latinx girl, and I just, I'm so happy for Elizabeth, and that this book has found so much success, and I can't wait to read her next one. The next book I want to talk about is Circe, and I think this retelling is ethereal, subversive, and genius. It's a story about resilience, agency, and female this femininity i don't know why i did that and the last book that i want to talk about is the seven husbands of evelyn hugo i thought this book was dope as fuck man um i just love it so much and i haven't heard anybody say they don't like it it's like such a universally loved book on booktube at least which i think is a pretty great feat to be honest um i just love that it gives like this kind of this old hollywood vibe and as a person from California, you can, I can imagine all these like streets and the palm trees and the air and just everything. So I thought it was so cinematic and I'd love to see like a five part mini series on this starring like Cersei Ronan and like Ella Mendes. Please, I need it in my life like right now. HBO, Netflix, Showtime, please. <laughs> Anyways, those are six books that I really loved in 2018. I'm super excited to read a lot of great, a lot of more books in 2019. Um, the first book that I read this year already is American Like Me by America Ferreira and it has a bunch of other contributing authors. This book was awesome and it made me realize that the first generation immigrant child experience is more universal than I previously thought. Um, it talks about having food that's not ham sandwiches in elementary school and feeling like you're a weirdo because you're not eating a ham sandwich. It talks about being weirdly patriotic to your flag even though you kind of don't understand why. It talks about, you know, wanting those blue eyes and blonde hair and just wishing for that to happen and pretending that it did. Um, yeah, so definitely check this book out. It has a lot of great authors. It has Roxane Gay, it has Lemon Miranda, it has Randall Park, Jeremy Lin, 
Joy Show. It has a lot of great contributors coming from Carrera. So definitely check it out if you're interested in something like this. And I'll see you guys next video. Bye.